Hey everyone, Eric Kimball here with another gardening video and today I want to talk about the worldwide shortage of nitrogen. If you've been watching the news, you know that there is a, a serious worldwide shortage of agricultural nitrogen for farmers, for the industrial farmers. They need that nitrogen and they need it because if they don't use the nitrogen on their crops, their crop yield will be ab about half of what it would be if they used the nitrogen. And the nitrogen uh, fertilizer is in short supply and the price for what is available is sky high. So this is a serious problem for the industrial agricultural paradigm. Very serious. It's a problem that's uh, going to, you're going to see compounded problems and price increases and who knows all what else down the road. But, and this is the point of this video, here in my garden I do not have a nitrogen crisis. I have an abundance of nitrogen, natural nitrogen, all around me. It's free. You have it too if you live in an area where there's green plants growing all around you. Now, the crops that you grow in your garden, they almost all need nitrogen. Nitrogen is uh, hugely important. They need it in the early stages as they're growing. There comes a point in the uh, in the life of the, your plants, usually when they flower and start to fruit, where they don't need that nitrogen so much. But early on, they need the nitrogen. Now, if you watched my previous video about how I make premium grass clipping mulch, that is an abundant source of nitrogen for a gardener. You got a lawn, a big lawn, you got nitrogen, and you've got a lot of it. I want to show you what I'm doing with my grass clipping mulch and here in the garden this morning, uh, what I did yesterday, I'm using it. I've got a, I have a lot of it. I wish I had more, but I got a lot. I'm putting it to good use. So let's talk about that right here, starting in my mini beds with onions. I have 11 mini beds in my garden with storage onions growing in them, like you see right here. And these beds were planted with the five by seven planting stick, which I talk about in previous videos. So I have 35 onions to a bed. 35 times 11, that's my onion crop. I just want to show you, this is the mini bed as I planted it. I've got the rye straw in there. Now rye straw doesn't have much nitrogen in it, but uh, it served as a mulch. And I've got a few weeds in there, you can see, coming up. And that's typical. The, the onions have got a good start there and they're not overwhelmed with weeds. And I'm gonna take care of that. And I'm going to mulch with the high nitrogen grass clipping mulch, like I have done right over here. And you can see the uh, rye that I took out of this bed right here. And then I packed in the high nitrogen grass clipping mulch. And that will be it for this bed. I won't have to do anything more except um, keep it watered if necessary. I don't think it will be necessary. That's the beauty of the mini bed system. And I will probably uh, put some liquid nitrogen on there, which I'll talk about shortly through this uh, early part of the growing season. I'm going to get the straw mulch out of here because it has served its purpose. I'll use this elsewhere in this mini bed garden. But for now, before these onion plants get much larger, I'm going to get this out of here and get my grass clipping mulch in here. And of course the grass clipping mulch will add nitrogen to the soil by breaking down, but more so when it rains, the rain will percolate through that mulch and take the nitrogen down into the roots. And I have these weeds that I'm going to just pick. I'm not going to cultivate too close in here for cultivation. And these weeds right here are crabgrass. They will get huge if I don't get them picked out of here. There's not a, you know, so many that it's overwhelming. It just takes a few minutes to get these picked and I shouldn't have to do any more weeding in this bed again for the rest of the gardening season. When I pick these weeds out of a mini bed and they're green like this, uh, sometimes I'll use them as mulch elsewhere. I can also just throw them on the plastic in the walkway and they will dry right down and I'll be sweeping them up when I clean these walkways and then I'll use them for mulch. Either way, they get, they get used. We had a real rip snorter of a thunderstorm last night, two o'clock in the morning, and it did not harm 
my mulch here, the grass clipping mulch, because I folded the tarp over, I covered it up, I protected it. All right, so here I'm just grabbing bunches of this premium lawn clipping grass mulch and packing it in around these onions. Onions will do very well if they have lots of moisture, the water, they need water, they need uh, nitrogen, and they need no weed competition. With those conditions, they will grow very well. So you, you got the idea here. I'm just packing this in all around. Not that hard. If these, there's a weed I missed. If these onions got much more top growth than this, it would be harder. So timing is important, as with all things in, gar in gardening. Getting in and doing your work at the right time for the task is uh, critical. And we're, we're getting close to past the right time. Look at all this free nitrogen that I'm packing in here. Beautiful. If you watch my previous videos, you know that I'm growing potatoes using a pre-industrial method here. I'm growing in mounds. I have hilled up these potatoes once already. The soil there got really hammered with the rain. So as soon as it dries out, as soon as the timing is right, the soil conditions are right for using my wheel hoe, I'll get on that and uh, cultivate around that. But I did hill these plants and grass enters into this, the grass mulch, because this row here on the right, before I hilled it, I put comfrey leaves and flowers and stems, wilted comfrey, all around the plants. Then I hilled up the soil and I ran out of comfrey. And when I did this row, when I hilled up this row, I put in the premium grass clipping mulch, put lots of it around these plants. And so I've got that nitrogen down there. Now comfrey is, they say, a uh, ideal fertilizer for potatoes, but grass clippings, high nitrogen, uh, is also going to be fine, I think. It'll be interesting to see if there's any difference between these. But let's look at one more thing here. If you watched my previous video about making comfrey tea, you know that this is my uh, garden side fertilizer laboratory. I've got comfrey steeping in these orange buckets, and I have now some um, premium grass clippings in a bucket here filled with water. I did make a mistake. I've never made high nitrogen liquid fertilizer with grass clippings. So what I did was I packed the bucket full, then I added water. Uh, yesterday I looked at it and it was, it was filled up. The water was right up to the rim. And what I should have done, what I will be doing, is filling the bucket halfway with the grass clippings then filling it all the way with the water and letting it steep for a while. But you can see you see that? See that nice yellow nitrogen rich water there? Very bioavailable to the, to the uh, crops when you put it on. So I'm gonna have lots of that and get it on all these green crops, the uh, tomatoes, the onions, the, the peppers, just about everything that's growing in my garden right now can benefit from a dose of this natural nitrogen. Okay, so that's it folks. Uh, really excited about getting all this nitrogen onto my garden from the grass crippings on my lawn. Here, check out these, these rose blush uh, peas. They're, they're, look, at how, look at all of them there to pick. Wow, got to get out here. We're, we're having peas today. Such an abundance. And yeah, look at that. Of course, peas, the roots, the, uh, they make their own nitrogen. But the, you see all those pea vines? Here's a, here's a good point. All those pea vines, when we're done, with uh, this crop. I'll take those down and I can, uh, I usually use it as mulch, green, just pack them into the mini beds. But you know what? I think I'm gonna put them in a bucket with water and let, them, let it steep. We'll pull the nitrogen and other good fertilizing constituents out of those. Yeah, hey, thanks for watching everybody. It's all about nitrogen in the garden in the early stages and it's all around you. Bye-bye.